Now, we have this uh, whole clutch of uh, papers which have been declassified, and I'd like to welcome Professor Mirudullah Mukherjee, of, uh, Professor of Modern History at JNU, Tom Wadakar, National Spokesperson of the Congress. He has a lot to answer tonight on what really the Congress Party, especially Mr. Nehru's government, was up to, snooping on Netaji's family. Absolutely disgraceful, if true, appears to be so. Anuj Dhar is author of uh, India's Biggest Cover-Up, which is an investigative book into the death of Netaji. He's joining us in Delhi from our studios there. Chandra Kumar Bose, grand-nephew of Netaji, Subhash Chandra Bose, wants the declassification, wants the full truth to come out, has been fighting for many, many years now. Siddharth Nath Singh of the BJP and, of course, General G.D. Bakshi also feels strongly the time has come for declassification. Now... Mridula Mukherjee and Tom Bodakan, I'd like to start with you. When I look at these papers, one fact is clear, that the family of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was under surveillance from 1948 to 1968. Their letters were intercepted, Mridula Mukherjee. Their movements were tracked. Two people who were extensively under surveillance were Amiyanath Bose and Shiris Bose who are Netaji's nephews. This is not information leaked from some dubious source, Tom Wadakan, so don't try that WikiLeaks argument. These are not files, you know, that have been declassified by a foreign source. These are documents declassified by the government of India. So don't question their authenticity. These documents are with me, Tom Wadakan. And they prove that the government of Jawaharlal Nehru Insecure for its own reasons, kept the family of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose under surveillance for two decades. Why did they do that? Why was I Netaji's have... family snooped upon under surveillance? And could it have happened? One last question. Could it have happened without the direct sanction of the Prime Minister of India at that point, Jawaharlal Nehru? Arnav, can I start? Yes, of course, the question was to you. Arnab, if you give me the time and space to present the case before being hung in, in public on an allegation which is baseless. First, you said this is to a period of 1968, if I've heard you correct. 48 to 68. 68. 48 to 68 to be precise. Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, to the best of my knowledge, died on 27th May 1964. So that Arnab? includes this period and goes beyond no, that. I don't no, know. No, that, no. That, that, that point, therefore, is disregarded. Move to your next point. Okay. My point here is, there were seven home ministers. Vallabhai Patel, Sri Rajagopalachari, Kailash Nath Kajo, Lal Bahadur Shastri, whose relative is here, Gurzari Lal Nanda, Yashwant Rao Chavan, is the case of the BJP that these respectable icons of this country have, have been snooping on the family? And what is this basis on which you are talking? You are talking about file notings. Where the hell is the, the correspondence? We are for declassifying it. We are on the same page on it. But tell the nation. So what are these papers? You, Whose letter is these, this? I'm talking Whose signature about, is on this letter? Whose signature? Let's zoom in. This letter Please dated go. April 22nd, 1974 from Jawa to Jawaharlal Nehru. Whose signature is this? The, what is being classified? Whose is, signature is this? Know. We don't know what is the correspondence. You are talking about five Sir, the correspondence is clear. You can't hang a man The on correspondence is crystal Arnab, clear. be fair. Sir, I'm Arnab, sorry. Be fair. I'm sorry. Arnab, now we go to the fair. correspondence. On, on Does the BJP notice, want to respond? You don't hang One second. Anybody. Does the BJP want to respond or should I go to Professor Mukherjee? Does Siddharth Nath Singh want to respond or should I go to Professor Mukherjee? Okay, Siddharth yeah. wants to respond. No, go ahead. Certainly Keep I want it brief. To respond. Certainly I want to respond. It is unfortunate that the Congress, as usual, when it comes to the first family of the Congress, rest are always wrong, only the family remains right. And this we are seeing even in the case of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, despite he being the most powerful Prime Minister, he is being bracketed, he is not responsible, the rest are the Home Minister, yeah. the Prime Minister had no duty or the Prime Minister was not. Now, there are documents, please hang around Tom, the, there are documents which relates when the Jawaharlal Nehru is writing a letter 
to Tokyo the ambassador and asking what are the what what are the movements of the nephew and what he is all up to all these details are being sought now why are they being sought one the motive needs to be understood and the motive cannot be anything else in this case but the the belief that uh, netaji is still alive he can come and he can be a real challenge to the congress party and therefore the snooping is was happening this is a reality so let's not try to distance the congress party and the government that nehru ji is alone separate indira gandhi is separate rajiv gandhi is separate the rest are all the culprits in the country so my paper tonight no i think the congress party tonight has to answer some serious questions I'm answering no, no, this question. No, no, one second. Don't bother us. Don't bother us. If you give me the time, I'll answer those questions. Don't bother us. Don't bother us. Yes. If your sense of loyalty to the Indian National Congress includes the act of defending the indefensible, of putting the family of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose under surveillance, almost like they were some common criminals, then you have to answer now, Mr. Don't bother us. Stop getting worked not, up and let me answer, ask no, you a few I'm, questions. No, I'm not worked one up. One second. In I'm the documents. You, In the documents, documents listed as confidential, which are in my hands, the intelligence branch of the government have, of West I Bengal preserves a file on Shishir Basu, son of Sharad Chandra Basu, and Amir Kumar Basu. Both were nephews of Subhash, Subhash Chandra Bose. One second. I have a letter dated May 17th, 1948, from the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Kolkata, asking about Amir Bose, saying, "Please let me know anything adverse on record." for uh, for the uh, above mentioned person i have papers after papers tonight have a look at it it's shameful it's disgraceful that this is what I'm was not, happening to the subhash chandra I'm bose family your, this is disgraceful but you did it on fraud gd bakshi what is a fraud document on fraud what no, fraud let me tell you what fraud what fraud one second what fraud gd bakshi he calls it a fraud you hear me gd bakshi calls it a fraud tonight he said these papers are fraud can bring in okay what's anuj anuj dar wants to come in i let anuj dar come in anuj anuj the congress party Anuj, Anuj, Gan, Anuj, Dar. Gentlemen, one second, one second. Now, now, ten minutes into the debate, Anuj, the Congress spokesperson says the papers are a fraud. I, I tell you, I am the culprit. See what happened. Anuj. That 2004, these documents are out because of me. In 2004, we, you know, uh, uh, five, uh, the Mukherjee Commission report was dismissed by the, by the Congress Party without giving any reason, of course. Then we approached the Home Ministry. We asked them for certain documents about Subhash Chandra Bose. Now, then they, this case, you know, goes on and it is put before the Central Information Commission, the full bench. Now, there they make three submission. One, we have got 70,000 pages regarding Subhash Chandra Bose, which are about his death. Number two, of these, there are certain documents which are top secret and. if we release them court it would lead to law and order problem across the country especially in west bengal on court the three then what happened that the information commission told them ki that you must declassify these files and put them in the national archive so following the courts uh, you know the commission's order in 2012 the congress government was forced to declassify out of these 70000 pages roughly 10000 pages to the national archive now 6 months back i stumbled upon these papers and of course i have seen many more only we are discussing only these two files so these two files are and as you have seen it makes a very clear cut reading i don't know what this gentleman is talking about these letters are cc to mr kao mr you know huja huja was the dib in 1967 does he know who was mr kao was why should you know mr kao be in kept in loop about two people who were no threat to the country one man was a doctor the other man was a uh, is a simple is a, is a lawyer you you spy on these people track every movement neta ji's wife is writing letters to her nephew and you 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 have the gumption courage to you know intercept it put on record and you know look what they're writing you can take a look they oh, they're writing the comment they the comment in shishir bose file they the comment made this is a 1955 let me give you the page number you know there's a and they're saying ki she is the alleged wife of subhash chandra bose now oh what do you mean God. by alleged wife by the way now the wife word now this is on a page number 8 i have it here the comment the addressee is evidently the alleged wife of subhash chandra bose now this is you know if you look at the english and the other the, the syntax and what this is perfect these guys are better than the cia in terms of english also now they do know the difference between wife and widow 10 years after a man's death you call his wife uh, you know um, uh, widow wife so they were obviously aware in fact i've got some more dirt you know i have got this paper now this is coming from a recently declassified mi5 file this is coming from london forget about government of india this is coming from national archive at q uh, in in uk this is a report dated 6 10 47 
and Mr. S. B. Shetty, who is the uh, from, with the IB, he is sending a report to the British intelligence, and he is saying that we uh, the letter was seen during a secret censorship and passed on on Aminat Bose's house. Then he is writing at the end, uh, we should be grateful for you. For your comments on the letter, now why are you passing information after independence of the country to the British intelligence? Are you okay. serving us or are you serving them? This is worse than Watergate. In Watergate, in fact, you see other data on record. They were snooping oh on God. journalists. It's they were snooping on other members of the family. There are other this means also there. This is worse than Watergate. You, you Watergate know. was a simple case yeah. of Mr. Nixon spying on you know uh, his political opponents, yeah, and yeah. he misused the intelligence organisations. They have misused uh, the, the intelligence organisations, IB and the you, local you intelligence. Know. They do not Anuj. go after dead people. Anuj. Anuj, you know, I, I, I'm glad you put this to point, you know, we're getting very specific into this tonight because it can't just be about your right, your wrong. And by the way, Tom Bodakan, everything that the Nehru Gandhi family does is not pristine and above question. And, you know, don't get so worked up when our questions are being asked here tonight. We are putting questions. No, one second, member, moment I mentioned Nehru Gandhi family, your hand goes up. One second. Chandra Bose, I'm going to come to you. My question tonight, I'm very factual on this. Why was the family of Subhash Chandra Bose kept under surveillance, A? Could it have happened, I asked again, Mirdula Mukherjee, could, without the intervention of Jawaharlal Nehru? Was the Congress government at that time unsure of Subhash Chandra Bose's death? Or was this surveillance an attempt to confirm whether he was dead or alive? Did the government, Mirdula Mukherjee, perceive a security threat that prompted the surveillance in the first place? Is this Jawaharlal Nehru's political paranoia that either Subhash Chandra Bose is going to come back or some member of his family you know, will revive a political force? Was the government fearing the revival of the Indian National Army as a political foe to the Congress? And most importantly, Mridula Mukherjee, let us realize how unfair this is. The greatest travesty that the Bose family is kept under surveillance by the British and the same Bose family is meted out the same treatment by the Nehru governments after independence. The privacy of a family of India's greatest freedom fighter infringed like the British did, the Nehru government did. It's an insult, Tom Vadakan, to not just one family, but to the legacy of Subhash Chandra Bose, Mridula Mukherjee, what explained what was going on? Can I come in? I'll come to you, sir. I want Professor Mukherjee and we all have time to discuss this. Yes, please. Okay, I'd like to make a few points, uh, one specific to the questions you've asked. One question you asked was that would Jawaharlal Nehru know about this? My answer to that is we need more data and we need all the files. So I want to support Shogata Bose, a fellow historian and as much a member of the Bose family as other members uh, who, who do not believe that Bose died in 1945, whereas Shogata Bose, his mother, Subhash Bose, his daughter, they have all accepted that Subhash Bose did die in 1945. Now, I am not an expert on the Bose death uh, theory. I am going by what I read in books and newspapers and things like that. And very good historians like Leonard Gordon, who is an American historian, who has done extensive work on the Bose family, not just on Subhash Bose. His famous book is The, the Brothers Bose. Sarat Bose as well as uh, Subhash Bose. Pro Professor Mukherjee. Firmly came to the Mrs. conclusion. Mr. Gordon's letter is also intercepted. The, can I, can I? No, no, he, um, Anuj, Anuj wants to counter you with a fact. So uh, just, Mr. I, I Gordon's letter was also intercepted. Anuj Mr. Gordon's letter was also intercepted. And please, please, uh, madam, madam, you should know, Mr. Subhash. Shishir Kumar Bose was part of the party. Let Anuj speak. I mean, let Anuj speak. And Mr. Subhash Bose is also not talking about that. One second, please. Stop. Let Anuj, Anuj is countering Mridula Mukherjee. You listen to it. No, no, Mridula Mukherjee, I'll let you continue. Anuj, Anuj, Anuj Dhar wants to counter you with a fact. Anuj Dhar, go ahead. You can make your point to Professor Mukherjee. Was also spied upon. You are not aware of the fact. That, Shishir Kumar Bose joined the Congress that party. You are speaking the Congress Gordon. party's language. You do not know the facts, madam. You accept that. You are not an expert uh, on the death mystery. What are you talking about? Shashir Bose joined the Congress party. Arab, can I come in, please? Shashir oh, Bose's wife was a Congress Arab party member of the parliament. Me and call me to the program. You decide whether I'm eligible or not. Is this your show or Arnab Goswami's show? Please make up your mind. But at least don't don't make these kind of statements which you know, have nothing to stand on. You're talking about Gordon. Gordon himself was spied upon. Please take I a look at the files. The Even his letters also is there in the Neither file. Neither are you an expert. 
So I, I am, madam. Madam, I am. Will you? I am an expert on the Supreme Court. Let me see. I, I have a court judgment talking about okay. me in, you know, in very good ways. This is not fair play. This is not fair. Anna, what is happening? What are you talking about? Anna, this is not fair. You are sitting here defending. This man has written a book and he is challenging his story. This is out and out again. You are defending it. I, I, I. One second. One second. Are we all of you? Are we challenging what, what, the professor kind of, of history? Has it come down to this? Are not fair play? Are not fair play? play. Is it, Tom Wadakar, Tom Wadakar, Tom Wadakar, the issue is... No, no, Tom Wadakan, the issue is this. One second. It, what is the a issue? Professor wants what to is speak. the issue? A yes, Professor Mukherjee will speak. speak. So she can, she she can, can, she can and speak for herself, Tom Wadakan. Between Wadakar. politicians and journalists? No, no, one second, one second. Professor Mukherjee can speak. But I come back to the question. Was Jawaharlal Nehru insecure? And everybody knows he was. That's... Jawaharlal Nehru okay, was mighty insecure think. about Subhash Chandra Bose. Opinion, Did he write a letter that? to you, Arnab, that I he was insecure? The I icon Panditji, are you saying today on live television that he was insecure, Arnab? Well, I'm are saying one like thing to you. Are I'm saying one like thing history? to you. Listen to me Anna, since you're asking a question. Are you rewriting history? Mr. Tom, Mr. Tom Vadakan. Mr. Tom Vadakan, one second, please. Mr. Tom Vadakan. No, one second. Mr. Tom Vadakan, since you asked a question, I am asking a legitimate question. The both were still alive. why the snooping was being done. According to very reliable inquiries, was not Medula allowed. Medulla Mukherjee, you are on the wrong point. Mountbatten order. Professor that Mukherjee, you are on the wrong point. It's not In about whether. No, no, no. Professor Mukherjee, you are going on about whether he was alive or dead. That's not the issue. You tell me. After Jawaharlal Nehru died. No, no, one second. If I were to, to ask that. you, if I were to, how can you be insecure about a man who's dead? I am asking you a simple question, Abdullah Mukherjee. Now, Jawaharlal after Jawaharlal Nehru uh, died. Can I come in? Uh, no, no, what? Yes, Jiri Bakshi, I am coming to you. Uh, my question is, after Jawaharlal Nehru died, after Jawaharlal Nehru died, were members of the Nehru Gandhi family spied on by the government? Because he wants it that way. The general can shoot us all. Give him that right. Tom, it's a serious program. I there was a political a rivalry no, between so Nehru and Bose. It is, it is not the general who can shoot. It is something that uh, the Congress has uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, to be faced against Pandit. Can I kindly you know, speak about this Congress gentleman? Subhash Chandra Bose. This is a conspiracy against Subhash Chandra Bose. We are asking for declassification of the oh. files. Where is the problem? <laughs> Tom Badakan, Tom, Tom. Who am I? I think he was a one. Tom, 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 I would like to go to Chandra Bose last. But Jiri Bakshi, the question is very simple. I have only one question, that after Nehru died, did the government of India spy on members of the Nehru Gandhi family for 20 years after that? They didn't. They spied on the members of Netaji's family. We want to know why. Why did they treat Netaji's family we with the same know. suspicion that the British treated Netaji we and his family? Uh, Jiri Bakshi. Jiri Bakshi. Can I give the answer? Jiri Bakshi. Jiri Bakshi. I know Arnab. Arnab. Jiri Bakshi, please. You have Give raised a nice seminal question. Madam, can you kindly let somebody else talk? That's Tom Wadaka, one minute. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Arnab, you have raised a seminal question tonight. The question is simple and it has deep, you know, links with our origins as a state. You know, Clement Tatley, Lord Clement Tatley, the British Prime Minister who signed the Independence of India Act, had come to Calcutta in 1956 as the guest of the Governor Justice P.V. Chakrabarti. Justice Chakrabarti asked him that the Quit India Movement had failed by 1944. Why then did you leave? And, you know, uh, uh, he answered, Subhash Chandra Bose and the INA. It was the INA that triggered off mutinies in the Royal Indian Navy that affected 20,000 sailors, 78 ships, also men of the British Indian Army and the Royal Air Force. They left because of him. 26,000 men of the INA were killed. And yet Nehru called it a non-violent struggle. The problem is that after independence, Nehru crafted a narrative of state which said that India got its freedom 
only because of the soft power of ahimsa, non-violence, and violence had nothing to do with it. 26,000 soldiers of the INA were killed. You call it a non-violent struggle? Nehru did not let any member of the INA rejoin the armed forces. Not one! The INA pensioners did not get their pension till 1977. And Arnab, please give me the time. I want to tell you something very critical today. Go ahead. You know, Arnab, Arnab, there is this book by Professor Tanvi Roy. She has done her research in Russia, in the former Soviet Union. And as per her findings, Netaji was captured by the Russian army. He was imprisoned in cell number 45 in Yakutsk, Siberia. He was tortured and at the behest of the British, he was finally killed using a plastic bag to strangle him. If this is true or not, doesn't this country have a right to know? And isn't there cause enough for this smirking gentleman to hide something? Oh, tell that army man. If the I government of India fire. knew, I mean, what did it do about it? If this man is a historian, if this man is a historian, goddamn history then. I'm sorry if this man is going to rewrite history. And goddamn goddamn you! Goddamn I mean, you, all right? Goddamn you, you traitor! You quisling! That's what you are! If you, I can take you on for defamation, army man. I can take you on for defamation. Oh, do that! And watch my do work. Do that! I can't do, do that. that! Do that! Don't, don't rewrite do that, Don't my fool friend. the world! Don't fool the world! Now, Mr. Don't Mr. fool the world, you're Please, I will know what's happening. Gidi Bakshi! Gidi Bakshi, we come back to the point. No! No, we come back to the Gidi Bakshi, we come back to the point. I go to Chandra Bose. No, this is not about a personal issue. You, you put some facts. That's not a, that's a, I know that theory goes around. It's not completely corroborated. We don't want a personal fight. Chandra Bose. Now my question is, the documentary evidence, you are hearing all this. First of all, I want to know what your overall view is of what's happening. When you see these documents as a member of the family, somebody who's been fighting for the truth, what is your feeling? Why was your family being tailed? I would like to begin, I would like to quote from my grandfather, Sharat Chandra Bose, who had stated, what is morally wrong cannot be politically right. Let us put things in the right perspective. Shubhash Chandra Bose was the liberator of India, as rightly quoted, okay. Sir Clement Attlee, when he visited Calcutta, he had told this to Justice Padibhushan Chakravarti, who was the then governor, acting governor of Bengal, that it was Shubhash Chandra Bose, the Indian National Army and the INA trials, the subsequent INA trials, which were held at the Red Fort, completely destroyed the loyalty and allegiance of the British armed forces. That is why British had to relinquish India. Now, coming back to the historical perspective, you see, subsequent Congress governments since independence have tried to suppress documents relating to Shubhash Chandra Bose and the Indian National Army. Mr. Goswami, you were showing a letter at the beginning of this program, a letter which was written by Pandit Nehru to my father, Amiyonad Bose. My father had written to Panditji. My father was very close to Pandit Nehru. In fact, when Pandit Nehru used to visit our house in Calcutta, he always used to reside at One Woodburn Park, our ancestral home. They used to have political differences, it is a fact, but personal relations were very cordial. So my father thought I should... Oops committee under a sitting Supreme Court judge. In fact, he had suggested preferably by the Chief Justice of India. The letter is with you, 
Pandit ji clearly said that how could I ask the Chief Justice of India to form an inquiry committee. So it is quite obvious that right from the beginning effort to suppress facts on Shubhash Chandra Bose. Now coming to the snooping angle, it is certainly shocking that in independent India, which happens to be a democratic country, India is one of the largest democracies in the world, it is a shame, I think it is a collective responsibility that all Indians, we hang our heads in shame yeah. that Shubhash Bose's nephews my father, Amyonath Bose, and my uncle, Shishir Bose, were kept under surveillance for a couple of decades. But why? I think the time has come. Enough is enough. The time has come that the government of India must declassify all the secret documents. There are over 100 files, 70,000 pages of secret documents are still lying with the government of India. There are 64 files with the West Bengal government. All these files must be declassified and the judicial committee, the demand, it is not a question what both fam family members feel. Shubhash Chandra Bose did not belong to any family. Shubhash Chandra Bose belonged to India and India belonged to Shubhash Chandra Bose. So it is a demand from the government of India, it is a demand to the government of India from the people of this great nation that form a judicial committee under the surveillance, under a sitting judge of the Supreme Court. It has to be an extremely high-powered committee. Retired, unfortunately, a retired judge would not be able to conduct such a high-powered committee. A sitting judge must conduct a Do judicial it. probe. Do and it. SIT is to be formed. A, a special investigation team must be formed by the government of India to conduct a proper inquiry and come out with because, the truth because some of facts what don't add up. I, I, because 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 some facts are not adding up. Let me let me go back to Professor Mukherjee on this, and I'll come back to everyone. You see, what's not adding up, Professor Mukherjee, for me is that it was Nehru who, in October 12, 1946, confirmed Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose's death. Now, if there was no ambiguity about Bose's death in Nehru's own eyes, a why was his family kept under surveillance for 22 years? One, two. The documentary evidence, now Nehru begins to then behave very suspiciously, Mridula Mukherjee. He wants to know, Nehru behaves very suspiciously. He wants to know what the Bose family is up to. It is in a confidential correspondence of 26 November 1957. Prime Minister of India, Tom Vadakan, writes to the then Foreign Secretary Subhi Maldat, and I quote, just before I left Japan, I heard that Amir Bose, son of Sharat Chandra Bose, had reached Tokyo. He had previously, when I was in India, informed me that he was going there. I should like you to write to our ambassador in Tokyo to find out what did Amir Bose do in Tokyo? Did Amir Bose go to our embassy? Did Amir Bose visit the Renkoji temple? Why was Nehru talking like this? Why was Nehru displaying such a personal interest in the move, personal interest in the movements of Netaji Bose's family? Why was Nehru asking if they may, may visited the Renkoji temple where it is rumored that Bose's ashes were kept? Why couldn't he, if he was friends, as, rumor, as, as, his son, no. not, as his son now it says, if he was friends with Amir Bose, he can pick up the phone and ask him where he went. Why was he spying on his own friend? Why was Jawaharlal Nehru spying using the state machinery as the Prime Minister of India to spy on his own friend? Okay. This is what can, uh, Nixon it's, did. It, this is what the question is, Professor Mukherjee, please. Yes. I would like to make a few points uh, to the questions that you have raised. So number one, I think you've asked this again and again, that did Nehru, uh, what did he direct the investigation, we don't know. And yes, it's possible. It's possible someone did it at the West Bengal level. It is possible someone did it at a lower level. We don't no, no, know. No, no, we our, have our to get, therefore, okay. I support the demand. Can I just finish, please, if you won't interrupt me again? You're making statements which are not correct. Uh, the, you're we not, need you're, to you're get thinking all Mr. The Kao is not a low level, madam. Mr. Kao is not low level. Assistant he director of IB is not a low director. level. I've seen 
assistant director is not a high level. He is not. He is not the head of IB. IB either. And Kao was a lonely and person. I did not know that. Ramesh Nath Kao, Kao was a lonely person. I did not know that. Very, very interesting. You know, uh, uh, insight from you historian. You can be Mr. a lonely person Kao at one point and person. become bigger later. Oh my God! I never. I said I don't know who ordered it. The document you are talking. The, this is the trouble. You see, you have to be trained also as a historian to read documents. When somebody yeah. sends the information to you, it doesn't mean you have ordered that information to be collected. Yeah. Now, as well, I said, you think we people need. like me are donkeys, so you know, to have gone around every, all the world getting Chandra all this information. Bose. You know, the government of India. This these documents no, came sure out because of me. What is happening? I what is happening? No doubts about no, your don't, don't what is happening? No, she, Why is there a fair play? What is he talking about? I mean, can I'm not... I mean, you, you, you can't do that in the legacy. I don't understand. The whole Why are you bothering us? There is a historian of a repute now coming and defending Watergate. Listen, what are we... What are we I, in 2015, historian of your listen, repute... I have your, really I, I have to defend so what I want. You. I, I have so much respect. You cannot you tell me what I will defend or what I will condemn. You are defending Watergate. Nobody can defend Watergate. You can defend the indefensible, which is that both did not die in 1945. I can't defend what? the defensible. No, no, but sorry. you can't defend Watergate. You are defending Watergate today. You this is worse than your opinions are sacrosanct. No, no, because my opinions are backed by a lot of things. Okay. There's a high court opinion. Are you going to let them just what show the As far as, no, no, one second. Please understand this. Three inquiry commissions. You know, I have no desire to contribute to your TRPs or whatever Ms. they Ms. are. Ms. Mukherjee, my question you know, is to you I mean, again. If no, no, Ms. Mukherjee. Ms. Mukherjee, yes, you will be allowed. You have every I'm right to. I'm answering you. But my question is, why was, why was Nehru behaving but, in a suspicious manner? And after you complete, okay, after you me, complete, Chandra Bose wants to come in. Yeah, after you complete. Let me answer your question. Yeah. Let me answer your question. Now, we can the all thing answer is, straight the question. these are all speculations. It is entirely possible that, as we know happens all the time, whether you and I like it or not, or think it's right or not, governments of the day do surveillance of no, no, but people why on, why, and why? parties why on about but which they have something to do. I'm telling you, like let, I, let me finish. No, it's not about both. It's about <laughs> both his nephews who are not both. They are people in their own right. They are politicians. We are getting there is a, a please let me finish. Somebody like please let me finish. Family needs to be in please let me speak. So why? I'm sorry. Please let me speak. Nobody is sacrosanct. Jawaharlal Nehru's progeny is not sacrosanct. And nor does both his progeny sacrosanct. By the by the virtues of your ancestors, you do not become sacrosanct. Medula Mukherjee, please tell okay. me why why was why one second. Can I just finish? Yeah, but I would like I to ask you a counter can question. Can you let me no, finish? I would, I would, yes, I will. But I will just no. ask you a small counter question. What was the security threat? Can you Amir let me Bose, just no, no, one the second. forward block? Sir, ma'am, I am asking you a question. Amir Bose, a former member of parliament, All India Forward Block 1968, being tailed. Was he being tailed because he had repeatedly questioned the conventional narrative about how Subhash Chandra Bose died? I may, I don't know. I'm saying That's there the could point. be other reasons That's as well. She does not. Know. I'm saying, and I'm trying to get you to a broader reason. Let me tell you that all communists were tailed, even students, please, during the please, Nehru period. No, please, if you were a student leader no, 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 of a communist, if you were a communist student leader, you could not get into the IAS. Sir, let me. Left-wing parties were all suspi under suspicion. It could be part of that Ma general Ms. Ms. surveillance. Ms. Mukherjee, suppose I, I don't know. I have Suppose I present five. a counter narrative to you. Just one minute. Suppose I present a counter narrative to you. That <laughs> and, and one second, one second, please understand, please. There was, you are a historian, you know the facts. There was a huge political rivalry between Nehru and Bose. In 1939, Netaji wrote. Can I come in on ne, that? No, 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 one minute, please. No, no, let, let me, please. Before yes. you come in, let me there present a fact to you, ma'am. Ma'am, let me, let me present rivalry. my fact to you. In 1939, Netaji Subhash Chandra okay. Bose wrote. And Tom Badakan won't like this. Yeah. In 1939, Tom Badakan wake up, smell the coffee. He wrote. Nobody, Netaji wrote, nobody has done more harm to me than Jawaharlal Nehru. 
Because in both things, believe. that's a language everybody that uses. Is, sir, please. Politics is about. Sir, please. Netaji resigned as Congress president in 1939. Yes, he did. But he was a Congress president. And he's an yes. icon even now. We are asking for declassification. Sir, please. Will you listen to us? Sir, you listen to me. We want declassification. Sir, you listen to me. We are sir, appealing why? for declassification. <laughs> a family. You know, these were the people who created the, the secret truth. files in the first place. Why, why are you not coming out? These were the people why who you created the secret files. Now they are asking for declassification. We are challenging the government. We charge can I, the government. Can I come in on that? No, I probably know a little more about it than any other. The question is to the BJP, ma'am. I'd like them to answer because this, this, you know, this passing the buck game is okay. now getting bothersome. This passing the buck is not going to help anyone. Reveal the papers. Who's going to get embarrassed? A few leaders. Yes. A few leaders. Our diplomatic relations will get upset Absolutely. with countries. No, World War Three will occur. Arnab. You'll have World War Three. Go ahead and reel it. The, the Home Minister. Sir, don't treat it as a trivial subject, no, please. No, we will not. Don't trivialize the country. No, the we want the Congress President. Talk, talk. She both. His, where he went, what happened to him? We want this information. You can't why hold the Why did the Congress create the like secret this? files talk. in the first place? Nobody is holding the Congress the party, party to ransom. You, Tom, this you have a moral right Tom, to even question because you have you have not you have not done the declassification. All I can say, please do that. You I'm are in power. Right please do that. Room, but still, I will. No, say, I'm asking you. Yes, please, the Indian National you don't Congress ask the question. is asking you. You don't ask the I question because to last you. two years you were you in ruling. Yeah. You, no, please you were in ruling. You did not do so. Do you now don't do ask question? Let Anushkar ask us. Let Chandrakumar Bose ask me. Let let Arnab Goswami ask me. I am willing to answer them, but not you. No, I, 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 I refuse to reply to you because you have no right. You have no, no right to ask the question because citizen. you did not do I anything on it. I so now, I and what you did has been declassified, it. and the people no, of this you, country you don't, and no. the people well, of this country people are of quite perturbed. What Nehruji was doing with stooping on Sarah and Bose. So you have no right to keep quiet about for a minute. The silence will be the right choice for you tonight. Ch I am the voice. Right we are the voice you. of this country. Uh, we are asking you to declassify. <laughs> I challenge you to declassify. Please do it. <laughs> and, you, and, and, and you could not do it. You do could you not do it. it. You are in Please power. Please tell us first. I will answer you it. But now you tell me no, why you could not do it. We were you were in government you for 50 years. Why you, why you could not do it? I why you denied Anuj Dhar's? Why did you deny Anuj Dhar's RTI before? Please you tell us first. RTI letter was sent to the PMO, but and what was the reply? That ah, we can't no, no, do it. No, 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 World War Three will My occur. My dear friend, on, give me please a break. ask Anod sir whether he had in the Congress government asked for the information or not. No, no, if you don't no, know no, facts, don't come on the no channel. I, I, because Congress party is responsible for the entire mess. I'm asking you to declassify. I know, sir. They, Why don't you do that? I have worked closely with Anod sir. Let me be honest, because I am on the same boat like Chandra Kumar Bose. And now that Regarding my grandfather too. Closely Speak up. That One second, Siddharth Nath Singh. Speak now up. that the link has been One established, the conspiracy Nath is there. Siddharth he Nath says Singh. he's worked with him. Siddharth Nath Singh, him. grandson of Lal Bahadur Shastri, says yes. tonight that he's in the same boat as that of the grandnephew of Subhash Chandra Bose. Speak up tonight. Why do you say, as the grandson but of I, Lal Bahadur Shastri, that you are I, fighting I, a similar battle? The, Speak up, Siddharth. Well, Don't hold yourself the one back. Who had be, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I, I'm not holding myself back because Tom Vatican doesn't allow others to listen. He has no business or moral uh, right to even question BJP about oh, the you have, I was trying to Let him you speak, Tom. Again, you're going for it. Let him speak. You're talking about Lal Bahadur Shastri. He was the Home Minister. He knew about it. Try and Sir, defend him. Please, please, Tom, shut up now. I had I enough of your nonsense. Why should I Please have shut up from you? You don't Why even know about up? my grandfather anything now. Uh, you uh, are in the wrong uh, party, uh, my uh, friend. You don't even know I anything. Do. Please ask, I know more please about ask your the historians. They will tell you what my grandfather Why, you was don't and what he speak. did for you to know the truth about uh, Smarch and Bozji. You don't let a historian Tom, speak. Please show us the fact. Tom, one second. Tom, 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 I as have. well as Lal Bahadur Shastri's grandson, whose grandson is speaking from his heart tonight, let him speak. 
Why are you getting insecure of what he's about to say? Let I'm him asking speak. for declassification. Sir, it's I'm not, not easy. I'm asking for it. Sir, it is not I'm easy for, for generations I'm after generations of a political family. Let's have a declassification. It is not easy for generations after generations of a political family to but know the exact don't circumstances you this? in which their forefathers were killed. Anam, why don't or died? you declassify it? Ask for declassification. Let's I, five more appeal. minutes That's of the debate. Appeal. I'll let Siddharth complete his point. Siddharth. Please, Tom. Please, I am requesting you, it's a serious subject, it involves families who, uh, who want their family members, the last page in the history to be demystified and you as a congressman, please do not say for declassification because you have not done. Therefore, now I am coming on the subject which Ornav has raised to me. What Arnav has raised, and I say, I work with uh, Anuj Dhar. The reason I work with Anuj Dhar is, because Anuj Dhar was after I wanted to know about my grandfather's uh, uh, documents, how, on what circumstances he died in Tashkent. The family still believes that there was there is a mystery behind his death because things don't add up yes. on his death from the call that he made to my father, to my mother. The, uh, the clothes which he had taken, his diaries which were missing, it relates to his, my grandfather also, that there's on a suspicion a Russian cook was uh, caught, but after there is no investigative report, the, all, the reason he was caught was on poisoning, the prime minister who dies abroad, his body was not done post-mortem, his body was brought with a clean up stomach, yes. which doesn't add up that if you have done a, somebody you have caught uh, on the basis, you arrest somebody on a suspicion of poisoning and you still clean up the stomach and that stuff and then you still don't do the postmortem all these things add up to a uh, some uh, to a finger which points that there's something unnatural and the yes. family and the nation is genuinely perturbed that yes we all must know and therefore I must uh, admit, as individual, I have like, requested, I went to the President of India, I went to the Congress, I have uh, spoken within the party and to the government, and I would like, as a grandson, that his uh, paper, his uh, documents should be declassified, and that my stand remains, and even Chandra Kumar Bose is aware about it. I am the one who had taken him to the Prime Minister, now the Prime Minister, when he visited as Chief Minister, he is the witness to it, and we have pursued within the party that yes and let me be honest within the party we all believe that he should be and let me say it is it is not that that RTI was replied the RTI was replied because the government was new but I am quite confident and but, but I don't but, speak but for the after government, having said I'm all this no, no, but having said out. all this no no having said all this having said all this Chandra Bose I want to come to you the big flip-flop is of the BJP you slam the UPA for not disclosing the details of Subhash Chandra Bose's death when they were in power. You did a complete about turn when you were in power. So, as far as the death of Subhash Chandra Bose is concerned and the failure to reveal it, you and the UPA are on the same page. And that probably will frustrate Chandra Bose more. Because you were on his side, Chandra Bose. The BJP was on your side before they came to power. And now, no, no, one side. second. Now, nobody is in Chandra your corner. Knows that People may be on your no, corner, no, but, but the political I, I, parties are not in your corner. Still on his side. Sir, you can be in his side at a personal level. As a government, you are not. Chandra Bose. No, it's not personal. Let Chandra okay, Bose let speak. Him answer. You have let him answer. Sir, let him answer. Let him answer. Chandra Bose. Yeah, let him answer. What would you like to say, Chandra Bose? Yeah, sure, sure. In an era of right to information, in an era of transparency, I think it is the moral duty of any government. Let us take collective responsibility for this. Well, Let us not make it a political slinging match, because this is not a political match. This is about disclosing the truth of the liberator of our nation, Shubhash Chandra Bose. So let us be honest with ourselves. There has been suppression of facts by previous governments, there has been documents which have been destroyed during the Khosla Commission. While the Commission was on, we have evidence that certain documents were destroyed by the government of India. So let us not start a blame game. Let us take collective responsibility. And I'm sure Narendra Modi ji has stated very clearly that he wants a transparent government. Now this is his chance. 
This is his chance to establish yes. and prove to the world yes. that he believes in transparency and he will bring out the truth on Subhash Bose's disappearance yes. and finally the nation would know what happened to the liberator of our nation. And my question is tonight... This is the message I would like that, to convey that, to the government I of agree India with today. You. I agree with you, G.D. Bakshi, the BJP owes it to the family of Subhash Chandra Bose. They owe it to the family of Subhash Chandra Bose and this whole country so that there is closure not just on his death, also on the purpose of this surveillance. It's easy to selectively leak certain parts of the papers. I'm saying tonight, if you want to reveal, reveal the full truth. Don't selectively declassify comment, uh, papers that put only the Congress party on the back foot. Reveal the whole truth. If but injustice, no, I'm saying, I'm saying tonight, GD, no, no, I'm, I'm saying tonight, Siddharth Nath Singh, if injustice so has not, been done, you know, no, no, one second. Don't if, say if, selectively, no, no, I'm not. Classified much no, earlier, no, sir, and please. They were lying with the National sir, sir, please, if injustice has been done, if injustice has been done to the family of Subhash Chandra Bose, let us as a nation take responsibility, hang our heads in shame, and yes, be embarrassed sure, sure. for it. I, I, I support that. Then declassify it, GD Bakshi. Declassify everything. Subhash Chandra Bose. Arnab Subhash Chandra Bose belong to the whole nation. Even more than the family. The nation would demand an exactly. answer and a closure. Every Indian wants to know. Then why hide? Tom Wadakan, Siddharth Nath Singh, if there's consensus? I'm appealing. I'm saying just do uh, that. Subhash Chandra Bose belongs to the Congress as much as India. We believe the truth must come out. He belongs I to appeal India to you. The Congress. I appeal to you. Let the family not suffer. Let the truth come out. Don't go with half truths. Let the truth come out. Let the nation know, Arnab. Let there be fair play. Let there be justice. Very and nice. And this is being being said After by doing nothing being when you were in power. Of uh, you you like it? Member of a political party yes, which created yes, these yes, opponents yes. in the first place. Bakshi, yes. You need the guts to say that on live television. Yeah. Yeah. Very brave words from a party which has hidden the truth for the last six decades. Yes. Please. Right. You were serving the honest. same party Let when you were in the army. Ourselves. This no, you were not was given freedom. I no, he was not serving the party. Your freedom. party, at least. This country, this no, country I'm was sorry, given freedom. I'm sorry. Take it back, Tom. You should, Congress. you should regret you your word. You are that talking General about Bakshi a free was country. not serving a party, he was serving the nation. The he army reports the to the commander-in-chief of the Indian Armed Forces, that. the you president of India. Soldier. One second. We Tom Vadakan, Tom Vadakan, take it back. Tom Vadakan, take it back. The commander-in-chief of the Indian Armed Forces, the president of India, not the president of the Congress Party. Take it back, say sorry. Say sorry Arnab, to the general for that. Arnab, completely hear me out before you ask me to apologize. I said India no, sir, was you given did freedom. Say that. Sir, you that need to. General Bakshi National was serving Congress. to the party. Sir, you need to, sir. It's an outrageous no, sir, comment that, from you, Tom Wadakar. No, you need to. I am referring It's very to insulting. A moral issue. Moral issue. Indian National Congress gave you the freedom. Today we are sitting in. Oh, please, you know, this sense no, of. No, no, this sense of propriety. This sense of propriety. I am proud. There is absolutely no freedom. There is absolutely no freedom. For which you had him. What you have done to him, the nation needs to know. I am sure the truth is going to come out. And I want to say something to Chandra Bose. I've known Chandra Bose for a long time now. We've been in touch. I know how, how committed he is and his family. And I also know how painful their fight has been. Chandra Bose, I'm telling you tonight, this is not a one-day debate. We are with you. Very right, very right. We are going to follow it, Chandra Bose, so that the truth comes out. And if this whole country That's needs right, to be embarrassed yeah. for it, and to Siddharth also to you, I also believe very strongly that the exact circumstances of how your grandfather died cannot remain a matter for speculation anymore. We need to cl put closure on these two chapters. Uh, Anna, we need your backing. I'm, I'm, I we must will. tell you, we need your backing. Without, without support from the media, especially you, this, this won't be resolved. We will. So the government would find one way or the other to... We will. We will. We will, and I commit yes. tonight that we will. 
We'll yes, follow it strongly. Thank you very much. With commitment. Thank you. And, and thank Tom Vadakan, Tom Vadakan, no rhetoric now. Thank you, Arnab. I'm thank sure you, Arnab. the entire, and but you should have apologized to the general. Anyway, thank I, you very much. Don't be sarcastic, no, Tom. Thank that. you very much for joining me on debate number two on the news hour tonight, ladies and gentlemen.